Hi everybody, welcome back to Doing Daisies. Um, today is January 3rd, is National Drinking Straw Day. So I was trying to come up with a project using drinking straws. Um, I searched high and low on the internet, um, didn't find anything I was really crazy about that I wanted to um, get into right now. Um, so I decided going back to paper crafting and just doing some bubble paper would be fun and I could use the drinking straws with that. So what we need for this project, it's very simple. You just need a small cup or container of some sort to hold some water. Of course you need your water some dish soap, some food coloring, and I actually got these at the Dollar Tree, that, um, so it was only a dollar, and for this project it works out great, um, so it was a very good deal. Of course, your drinking straws and some paper. All right, now what we need to do, it's very simple, is just put a little bit of water, you don't need very much at all, into your cup, all right, and you just need to add some food coloring oops, and some dish soap. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of dish soap there. All right, and we're gonna swirl it around just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna blow up some bubbles there and then put in some food coloring. And I'll show you why I'm doing it this way in just a second here. All right. There, we have a nice big pile of bubbles. And all we're gonna do is take our paper and lay it down over the bubbles. And as you can see, you get some beautiful um, design there. And the reason I put the um, food coloring over the bubbles is because it gives you a more intense coloration. You can mix it in with the water, you'll get a lighter color, and that's just fine too. But this way it gives just a little bit more depth to your paper. And we're just going to keep on going with this until we have a look we like. And there we go. We have, I think it's just a neat looking paper. It's a, different than the marble effect. It just gives a different design. Now, you can also do this with acrylic paints and it gives you just a little bit of a different look. So next we're gonna be working with our acrylic paints. Now I'm gonna be working with the acrylic paint. This is Anita's all-purpose, uh, just acrylic craft paint. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby and I'm using the Sorbet color. I am hoping that we will be um, getting a nice, light, bright, cheery color on this dreary, cold winter day. All right, and it's basically the same process. Put in just, just enough water. Um, you don't need very much. Put in a decent amount of paint. It, it does take a little bit here. All right, and just get it all stirred up. Okay, and I think we're gonna need a little bit more paint to pull out some of that color that I'm hoping for. All right, and now just add a little bit of dish soap. There we go. All right, and that looks like we need quite a bit more paint. Um, I don't know how well you can see this. You have such a light color. You almost It's actually showing up better on camera than it actually shows up here. So I'm gonna add some more paint and just stir it around some more. There you go.
there. It looks like we've got a little bit of paint on those bubbles. Mm, still not a whole lot, but I am using a lighter color. Maybe that's my problem. All right, and as you can see, as I'm experimenting with this, I have some drips from uh, blue I did earlier. So I'm just going to, um, when I use these, I won't be using the splotchy paper, obviously, but I can use smaller pieces of it. Okay, our next experiment is going to be with metallic, and I have this um, Plum Folk Art Metallic Paint, so we're going to see how this comes out. The water sure looks pretty. I will give it that. All right. And I don't know how well this picks up. It that has a beautiful shimmer to it. I absolutely love the way that turned out. So metallic paint also works very well on this. A couple notes in closing. Um, things that I've noticed is that the dye, um, you can put it over the top of the bubbles, come out with a very bright, intense color, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, metallics also work. You have this beautiful shimmer to them. Um, and you can also do, and this was done earlier, um, with outputting the um, dyes on the top of the bubbles, you can come out with a very subtle look to the paper. And I think that's pretty as well. Um, and this, this blue is so cool because it did almost come out with a marble effect. It, you can't really see the bubbles on it. It's just very different. I really like this. You never know what you're going to get. Um, I have noticed that with the, uh, the dyes, the bubbles are neater. They, they don't splatter quite as much with the paint. And I think it's because it, it's um, a different type of liquid when you mix the paint in with it, you do have to watch out. They splatter a lot. I did not have that problem with the dyes. Um, so you do definitely want to be careful. Make sure that you have paper down, whatever you're going to do, um, your area um, protected, definitely. And wear an old shirt um, because with the paint splattering, I did get a little bit on me. I hope you liked um, the video today. It was a lot of fun to make. I came out with a lot of cool papers. I can't wait to use them in some of my paper crafts. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if to my channel. If you like the videos, you want to keep up, see what we're doing next. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.